Hello one and all, we've got something a little bit different for you today, just a quick tip that I discovered recently that I wanted to share. Now, let's say you get your hands on some miniatures that have been painted, or maybe you've got an old job that you want to strip and start over because you know you can do better. What we're going to do is strip this miniature using uh, Bren Spiritus. Now, this has got a different name depending on where you are in the world, funnily enough. So, Burning Spirits. <laughs> Uh, if you are a native English speaker, you'll probably know it as methylated spirits or denatured alcohol if you are over in the States. It's easy enough to get your hands on, and it is different from something like Terps, okay? Meths, this is not going to melt plastic, which is an important step, unless you happen to leave it in the jar for a week or so. So, what I'm going to do, you may notice I've got the old... <laughs> got the old mad science glove going, because... At the end of the day, this is still a noxious chemical, okay? You've got to be careful with this. Got myself a jar, a jar, and let's just pour some of this into our jar. We want enough that we'll be able to cover the model. And as well, I'm not going to worry too much if I put too much in, because you can use this, obviously, for more than one model. And uh, if you happen to be using enamels or anything, this is actually really good for cleaning your brushes, too. So, we take our model, we drop them in the drink, and, okay, I might need a little bit more in there, but we'll leave that for about five minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll do something special. Now, it hasn't been a full five minutes, okay, it hasn't even been three minutes. I've got here a grody old toothbrush, all right, this is no good for anything else now. Do not use this in your mouth ever again, all right? We'll fish out our model, and you might see I'm already starting to have bits of bloody paint come off of them. Now I want to do this, ideally you would do this over a sink or something, okay? But let's just brush down over his face, and you'll see how that paint's already coming off. It's a little more work to get into, you know, into his gums and what have you, but look! Look how simple that is! I mean, it's coming off under the pressure of my, of my bloody fingers up here. All right, and all it takes is just a few seconds brushing away there, and that's going to come off. Okay, so his head's ready to rock and roll. Part of his jacket here and stuff is already falling off. Okay, meths, guys. Uh, brain spiritus or denatured alcohol, whatever you want to call it, it's the same stuff, and it strips paint like nobody's business. There's no gunky residue, so like if you've got somebody who's telling you to use Dettol, uh, Dettol baths will leave a gunky residue. This doesn't. Just once you've finished, you can leave it out to dry, okay? Uh, meths will evaporate. Then just give it a quick treatment, a little bit of warm water and some soap. Same as if you were uh, cleaning up resin miniatures for painting. And then, look at that. He is ready to be based again. I, I can start fresh for him. And paint them up how I want. So I thought you guys might find that a little interesting. Um, I certainly did. That was a, a great tip from somebody and I just wanted to pass it along. So all of the usual caveats, you know, this is a noxious chemical. Have your windows open. It is highly flammable. Be careful. You know, take care of yourselves, guys. Don't be messing around with this. But on the off chance, you've got some miniatures that need stripping. This is safe for plastic and metal. Um, I haven't tried it with resin, but that might be one for you guys to give a shot. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna try it on mine. So anyway, guys, you carry on and uh, good luck with this. This might be useful to you.